So hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing some work with my dolphin uh, pool cleaner and there's some really cool suggestions and recommendations that uh, the dealer here made to me that's worked really great and I thought I would share them with you. It's all about cleaning up the dolphin after it's finished the servicing uh, of cleaning, you know, cleaning the bottom of your pool. So I wanted to share that with you. So you know me guys, let's get busy. So guys, we have a Dolphin S300. Uh, one of the things I really love about this, uh, you can do two modes. One is a complete cycle to where it'll go up the walls and clean everything. You can do a short, fast cycle where it just does the bottom. It's one thing I love about it, but one of the biggest things that's my favorite feature is that it has an extra large basket and it's so easy to grab. You just pop the lid up after it's done and it just lifts right out the top. So one of the things you wanna do after uh, the Dolphin runs its cleaning cycle is don't let this just set in there and dry. It'll get to where it's got a bad smell and it'll stain everything. So you always wanna make sure you clean your basket once the dolphin has finished the cycle. Okay guys, one of the coolest features about these baskets is the bottom flips open. All you do is on the lip, you just pull it and the bottom drops out and just grab your water hose and it's so fast and easy to clean. Anyway, once you're clean, you just pop it back up, lock it into place. And now, uh, if you're done using it for the day, if you don't want to run any more cycles, I would highly recommend leave this out. Don't put it back in the dolphin and let it dry. Uh, leave the dolphin lid up, let everything dry, and then put it all back together and put it away. That way you won't get any bad smells and this basket will stay like new. This is my second basket and we've had it now going on five years. Uh, we got uh, four years out of our first basket before it got wore to the point it started splitting. So by doing this method, it'll just keep it nice, clean, smell nice, and it'll make it last a long time. So as I stated earlier, if I was done for the day, I would just set this out like this uh, and let it uh, dry, sun dry, and then I would put it all back together. But for me, I'm gonna do another cleaning cycle. So I'm just gonna drop this back down in and drop her over in. Button on these newer designs. Uh, it's just a one button control. Now the cool thing about this is you can program it in with an app to your uh, iPhone and you're sitting in the house and you go, oh, I wanna run one more cycle through uh, the Dolphin. You can do it from inside. My wife does it all the time. Okay. Anyway, for now, all you gotta do is just come in and hit the button and this will start up a, I'm sorry, you gotta do it twice and this will start up uh, a full cleaning cycle. In order to do the partial cycle, that one you can do with your iPhone. Well guys, I sure hope you find that information beneficial on helping with servicing and maintaining your uh, Dolphin uh, pool cleaner. And also while we're on the subject of pools and maintenance, I will throw in up in the end screens uh, on how to do servicing of your, uh, your chlorine generator. Uh, it's a way to get the uh, calcium buildup out of inside that. It's a pretty easy process, but it's something you need to do every season. And again, I'll throw that here up in the end screens. Guys, before you go, if you will, please consider hitting the like button for me. Uh, with the new algorithms, the way YouTube is working, uh, the only way you keep the videos going and growing is by hitting the like and share, and I sure would appreciate if you would do that for me. Anyway, for now, guys, thanks so much. Remember, hit Project Next. There's always one more. And guys, y'all stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you later.